What's going on guys? Matt here and this video we're going to talk about three ways to, to get ready for Prime Day. We got Prime Day coming up and uh, if you're not familiar with it, um, we're going to go over that and explain you know, why it's such an exciting event that's coming up for Amazon sellers. Um, literally you can see just like you know huge volume on this day and we're going to talk about how you can get prepared for it because now it's uh, uh, end of May and uh, Prime Day is going to be sometime in the middle of July. Uh, so now's the time to get ready for it, right? Uh, so we're gonna be talking about that. Um, before I go too deep into that kind of stuff, uh, I just wanted to um, address something, guys. You know, I uh, haven't uh, felt like myself lately. Uh, I've just been going through some personal stuff. Uh, so if you haven't seen me that active in the group uh, lately, for those who are watching, I'm, I'm doing this on uh, Facebook Live. I mean, honestly, I was just kind of down and out and depressed and I was just kind of laying in bed feeling for, sorry for myself and just you know I didn't really feel like doing much and I just wanted to say to you guys uh, thank you I appreciate you guys because you know without you guys being here you know it, it's what kept me going uh, honestly I thought you know is there something something of value that I can give you know can I help some someone else you know someone else get, and help me um, get outside of myself you know and think about you know about you guys so Wanted to say thank you guys for that because, you know, seriously, I mean, I know I talk a lot about business stuff, but I'm a personal dude. I have real, I'm a real person, real life. <laughs> I have, you know, all kinds of stuff and, you know, things that, you know, I get way down and, you know, whatever, you know, and, and it's not anything that, you know, you guys have to worry about or anything like that, but it's just, you know, I just thought you'd like to know that, you know, I have down days too. And, uh, you know, thankfully, right, it, it's about having a business that, you know, even if you have those down days, You've been literally laying in bed and meanwhile you have a business that's working for you and you know if I had a dream or a vision for you it would be you know have systems set up for you so that you have a business that's working for you so um, anyway so let's talk about Prime Day so Prime Day is coming up and a lot of people are thinking oh you know that's way out in advance I don't have to worry about it now I'll just deal with it whenever <laughs> you know and, uh, and I think that's a big, uh, huge, huge mistake. You want to start thinking about it right now and thinking about what can you do now to help get yourself set up for success so that when Prime Day comes, boom, you are set up. You have all the right stuff, all the right ducks in a row um, so you can maximize for the opportunity. So let's talk about one thing real quick here too. So which is Prime Day is coming up. And so if you have like slow moving inventory, if you have inventory that you've been trying to get rid of, this is an opportunity on this particular day to get rid of that stuff. So basically what happens is uh, Amazon has a special day sale called Prime Day where they're, you know, have special deals on a lot of stuff. And I think it's just to combat the fact that it's, uh, you know, it's the middle of the year and sales ain't that great for, you know, a lot of businesses. Uh, you know, so Amazon knows that too. And they're like, hey, how can we generate some sales in the middle of the year? So they run this special sale. And for you as a seller, you've got some inventory in there. You should have some inventory in there. It's an opportunity to clear out some of that old inventory that's been staying in there a while. And the way that you're going to do that is um, obviously you're going to have comparable prices. And then what you're going to want to do is use what's called Amazon Pay Per Click. And Amazon Pay Per Click is basically having advertising set up with Amazon for the items so that uh, you can win the buy box more often and you can sell those items. So say for example, uh, one year we had like a lot of shoes bad buy of shoes and we had our prices set up correctly you know in there and we had our PPC set up for those items and a lot of those shoes sold on that particular day where they weren't going to sell uh, other times of the year so that's cool you know that's great uh, so that's that's number one okay is all that stuff that you have there have it ready priced right with your PPC so I know for me, like sometimes, you know, I've been lazy with like the repricing, right? And I don't always do it. But if there's a day to get ready to do the repricing, it would be Prime Day. Okay. <laughs> so get have everything ready and comparable and competitive so that I can sell. Okay. Now, second thing I want to talk to you guys about is thinking about as a as a as a sourcer, somebody who's going to be buying product, right? This is an opportunity, okay? Because not just Amazon, but the other stores, Walmart, Target, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're going to be trying to compete with Amazon to score deals. Well, guess what? This is an opportunity for you to score deals on product that you can resell back on Amazon. Okay? So 
Hey, what's going up, Mondo? Uh, so be ready. Be ready for that. So, you know, I don't know if you have like, a, you know, whatever you got going on in your schedule, but this is a good day to do some sourcing, some shopping online, uh, most likely. Now, you're probably not going to see that many deals through retail stores, like, you know, physical stores, but you're going to see a lot of good deals. Hey, what's up, Nancy? You're going to see a lot of good deals uh, online. Okay. So be ready for that. Uh, take advantage as a sourcer. Look, I would what I would do is I would subscribe to as many um, stores with their with your email address. You know what I do is I use a separate email address so I don't get bombarded with sales all the time. But have that email set up. Oh, he died. <laughs> with as many uh, stores as you can to get that set up. Um, now let's talk about uh, one of the big things that we emphasize, guys. Number three. <laughs> He's a ham. Um, I'm going to steal all your subscribers. <laughs> so number three is uh, replenishables. Okay. So, you know, we, we talk about replenishables a lot. But see, if you are, the way that we recommend, right, if you're doing online arbitrage, right, a lot of people get kind of hung up and tied up on, you know, it's the products that are on the list and I should just go for the list. Well, what you want to do is you want to look at the replenishable items, okay? So what you can start to do, for example, is look back six months, maybe a year, products that you've bought before in the past, and look at those products again and see if you can replenish those items, okay? So that way, it's not just your, your usual sales that you're going to be getting uh, on Prime Day. You're going to see a bump, but also your replenishable items and you can also go a little bit heavier on inventory because Prime Day is coming up. You're going to sell more of those replenishable items. And not just the replenishable items, you're going to sell you know, more of everything, right? But, but I'm talking about replenishable items here um, for the purpose of this video. Or for the, I'm trying to make it into, you know, like three things, right? So my third thing is replenishables. Oh man, I just, I think I just, <laughs> when I, my mouth just like projected a little bit of spit there. So try not to spit on the camera. Anyway, um... So anyway, so hopefully that's helpful to you guys. So, you know, if you haven't gone through our free training, you know, do that. Go through resaleforprofits.com. There's a free video training there. You know, like I would jump on that immediately, right? Because Prime Day only happens once a year, guys. You know, same thing with Christmas. Christmas only happens one day a year. And so I did a, a post earlier of talking about Christmas and getting ready for Christmas. Well, guys, get ready for Prime Day. Get ready for Christmas. Get ready for both of them right now. Uh, this is your time. Like what... If there's anything that's holding, you know, if there's something that's holding you back, uh, I would encourage you to like, you know, whatever that is, let that go and just like, you know, seize the moment, seize the opportunity. Because, you know, like I said, this is happening here in July coming up and that's it. And then the next one is going to be in July 2020. Uh, so use Prime Day as a, a, a an opportunity to get ready for Q4, right? Because, you know, here we are in the middle of the year, you get some sales for uh, Prime Day, uh, use the, the money that you make from that Prime Day to reinvest back into inventory. You take the money that you're gonna be making from the sales from the next stuff, reinvest back into inventory, 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 and that's how it's going. Ka-ching, that's right, Mondo, ka-ching, yeah, absolutely. Um, now, some of you guys, it might be interesting to see that uh, you might not see that much of an increase in sales on Prime Day. It's interesting. But I think it's because um, a lot of people are, aren't necessarily, um, they're not prepared for it. And I think you have to be prepared for it. You have to be competitively priced, like I talked about earlier. Um, have your PPC going on some of those slower moving items. And I think you will see a bump in sales. You will see an increase in what you normally sell on Amazon. So, be prepared for it. Get as much stuff as you can in there. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't matter. It's going to sell eventually anyway, right? We got, uh, uh, you know, like for example, this is the summertime, right? So what you want to be thinking about is, you know, what's going to be selling in the summer that's not going to be selling all year round. You know, items like chocolate, for example, is an item that you're going to want to get out of inventory. Do not sell, you know, do not load your inventory right now with chocolate, right? It's a meltable item. But you know, instead think, you know, what's going to be selling in the summer? What's going to be a hot item? And then to be thinking, you know, not only that, but hey, we got back to school coming out in what, August, September, or I think it's usually August. 
So, you know, as you're, as, as you're loading up with inventory, think about what's upcoming that you can start getting ready, that you can, you know, take those items, take the money from it, reinvest back into inventory, okay? And eventually in Q4, I mean, for goodness sakes, everything sells. So it's all gonna sell anyway, right? So anyway, uh, hopefully it's helpful to you guys. And by the way, if you guys are watching us in the YouTube or, uh, uh, yeah, if you're watching us in YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, throw the video a like and a comment. Again, that free training, guys, check it out, resellforprofits.com. Uh, look forward to talking to you guys later. Take care. Have a great day.